Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about AI principles in terms of helping teachers and students understand the importance of ethics and biases when we're using any kind of AI digital tool. So if you're interested in looking at a few different AI principles from different organizations, then please keep on watching. So as educators, we are trying to understand more about the integrity, the ethical use, and also the biases that AI digital tools actually produce. And teaching our students about the ethical implications in terms of AI use is really important. And many organizations have actually released lots of different AI principles. I'm going to talk about the OECD one in a moment. So we know that Microsoft outlined six key principles for responsible AI use, and they are accountability, inclusiveness, reliability and safety, fairness, transparency, and of course, privacy and security. Now, Google also have their own AI principles, and I'm just going to read out their principles. Be socially beneficial, avoid creating or reinforcing unfair bias, be built and tested for safety, be accountable to people, incorporate privacy design principles, uphold high standards of scientific excellence, be made available for uses that accord with these principles. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about the OECD AI principles. So I'm just gonna move myself out of the way and they have values based principles. So let's say you're trying to teach your students about ethics and responsible AI use. So I would probably start off with these values-based principles here. One is inclusive growth, sustainable development and well-being. And we're gonna click on and have a look at the description of each of these in a moment. So another uh, values-based principle is that it's human-centered values and we want, to, we want transparency and explainability. We want robustness, security and safety and we also want accountability. So let's just have a look at the first principle, inclusive growth, sustainable development, and well-being as the first principle. So this principle highlights the potential for trustworthy AI to contribute to overall growth and prosperity for all individual societies as well as the planet and advance global development and objectives. And I think that that's really important that AI use or any use of AI digital tools should be contributing in some way positively to society and to humanity. So I love that first principle. Now, if we just go back to the second one, human-centered values and fairness. And so we're just going to, I'm just going to move myself over here. We're just going to have a look at this. AI systems should be designed in a way that respects the rule of law, absolutely, human rights, democratic values and diversity, and should include appropriate safeguards to ensure a fair and just society. And so looking at human-centered values and fairness is really important. So the third one is about transparency and explainability. And let's look at the description here. The principle, this principle is about transparency and responsible disclosure around AI systems to ensure that people understand when they're engaging with them and can challenge outcomes. And so it's really important that our students understand responsible and transparent use. They don't just put in an input, copy and paste an assignment and hand it in. But, you know, how have they used the AI tool to really help them understand, deeply understand the material and help? And how has the AI digital tool enhanced their learning and understanding? The fourth one is about robustness, security and safety. So what's the descriptor here? This is about AI systems must function in a robust, secure and safe way throughout their lifetimes and potential risk should be continually assessed and managed. Because at the end of the day, all of the AI models that we are currently using, like the large language models or any kind of generative AI, they are using algorithms, they're inanimate objects, they're not human. They are using algorithms, looking for patterns and trends in words from the internet and then forming a response for you. And so we have to really use an ethical and moral lens when we're looking at inputs and also outputs. So these principles are really important to highlight to all educators and also our students. The last values-based principle is accountability. 
and accountability, organizations and individuals developing, deploying, or operating AI systems should be held accountable for their proper functioning in line with the OECD's values-based principles for AI. So all actors should be accountable for the proper functioning of AI systems, for the respect of the above principles based on their roles, context, and, and consistent with the state of art. Okay, so they're the five important AI principles from OECD, which I think can be used as a starting point and discussion point for students and also educators about how important it is for us to consider these ethical, these moral, these, these values-based principles when it comes to teaching our students how to use AI ethically and properly and with integrity. So thank you so much for joining me this week. I love talking about these topics concerned with AI powered pedagogy because I really think that the AI digital tools are here to stay. It's not something that we can avoid or, or hide under the covers from. So let's learn more about it, but teach our students about ethical use and the biases. Thank you once again and hope to see you next time.